Welcome to new Selfish OS podcast and this time around it's about the Sony Xperia 10 Plus running Selfish OS. You might know about the issue when you're working with different computers, Linux machines, that you sometimes miss your perfect CLI setup for the machine. And of course there are solutions for this. You can use Git or can copy manually over the configuration files that you need for your uh, system to have the perfect CLI configuration that you want to work on a terminal on Linux. But why do you have to do this if you have your pocket PC with a Linux system based uh, in your pocket always uh, on and always available you can basically run everything on this little bad boy and this is what I want to show you right now how you can run your CLI Linux terminal configuration on your Selfish OS device in this case the Xperia 10 Plus but it also works on the Xperia 10 even the Yola 1 especially the Yola 1 makes a lot of sense because it is a bit slightly older device and nowadays I I don't know if someone is still using it as main device but it can be used if you want to repurpose it for a small Linux CLI desktop you can do so simply by following these instructions here so let's get started and let's switch to the computer so to start we have to install some applications I'm going on open repos to show you this right now you can of use of course use Storeman on your phone to install those applications so I searched um, a bunch of applications uh, first of all the main um, program that we want to use as a desktop itself is Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer which allows you to split the terminals into various different terminal windows and to have different applications running at the same time. There's some screenshots here as well. This is what we use as our main CLI desktop because it offers a lot and lot of features that we want to use. So first of all install Tmux. The rest is basically optional. So one thing that I would like to have is a to-do application that also allows me to have a calendar to see which date we have currently and to see my to-do lists for the day. And for this I use Calcus, which is a nice application which also allows you to sync your um, appointments, your um, to-dos basically with CalDAF. Uh, on your mobile device for example so on other mobile devices um, or servers Nextcloud I personally didn't uh, do the Nextcloud integration with Calcus yet but I think it is also pretty handy to work with this it has the option if you have already an iCal format to just uh, calendar entries to just import them via the iCal format here and also to export them as well if you like to do this it has UTF-8 support, it's a great application and I can do a, a, a video on its own if I want to. Then there's a great application where I can also do a video on its own called CMOS, which is a music player, C music player. And it offers some nice features, not like an average MPEG 1 to 3 music player, but library support. So you have the option to search for artists, for albums, to create playlists, um, uh, to browse files, and uh, yeah, have various different library settings as well here. And you can see there are lots and lots of uh, formats that are supported by this player. And it uses a VI uh, style of uh, user interface, which is, I think, also uh, preferred by a few people. And uh, last but not least, we use TTY clock and uh, a simple clock that allows you to um, yeah, show the time and date uh, running. And another application that I missed um, is HTOP. And HTOP is a simple uh, tool which allows you to see your system resources that are used currently. I'm not sure which is the newest version. I think this one here, HTOP 2. And uh, yeah, this allows you to see the uh, system resources. Then uh, when we go to Tmux, there are some shortcuts that might become very handy. You can see here I use DuckDuckGo because DuckDuckGo has a very nice syntax search for shortcuts and allows you in its um, uh, search uh, results basically to uh, show you the most important uh, shortcuts 
and uh, those important those are the important ones I think here split the pa uh, pain horizontally or vertically and uh, these are the ones that I will use most of the time so let's switch to my terminal we have to connect to our smartphone we can use this uh, we can use Wi-Fi or we can use a USB cable if I plug in my USB cable and connect to my PC I have the option to see in settings the USB address which allows me via SSH to connect to my device I think this is the more hassle-free version because sometimes Wi-Fi can lag a bit it can be a bit uh, yeah, slow so it is good if you have the option to uh, connect via the cable if you want a hassle-free work and if you have the possibility otherwise you can always use if you forgot the cable you can always use the Wi-Fi you need to be on the same Wi-Fi though so you can see the address there so I just connect to it to 15 it was and enter my password and now I'm connected to my uh, Safish S device I can start applications if I like to on my device and the uh, first application I want to start is our desktop which is Tmux so we start our Tmux desktop terminal multiplex I can see nothing much changed the only thing that changed is that we have a blue uh, green bar here with uh, title bash that we are currently running of the application we can see here free uh, what does this mean we can see our username here we can see the the folder we are in our home folder and we can see the time and date um, I'm currently recording this so the first thing that we want to do according to the shortcuts that you saw is split our panel and yeah start layouting our desktop like we want to have it so first I will split my panel um, vertically and here you can see I have now my two um, terminals and I can switch easily between them by pressing ctrl B and then left or right ctrl B is basically the uh, control you always have to use if you want to perform an action here in Tmux and uh, if you don't like to do it this way if you like to use your mouse or touchpad or something like this you can of course control B a colon and then set mouse on to turn on mouse support and, and now you can click between the two panels to uh, go into them and this has also the advantage that you can easily resize uh, those uh, panes as well otherwise you have to use control B and then hold control and then uh, resize with your keyboard which is a bit cumbersome but if you only have a keyboard this is of course uh, one way to do it but I like to prefer I prefer to use the mouse here so then let's go in here this one I want to split um, horizontally so let's get control B and uh, quote sign open and now we can uh, see a little bit so in this pane I want to open up uh, Tmux uh, Tmux not TTY clock I mean TTY clock and I want it to be center so C for center and now you can see it opens up nicely a big clock uh, where I can see the time and I can see the uh, date as well if I don't like the date here, like here I can also change this TTY clock has some options you can see the help menu here and let me drag it a bit down you can see if you want to so show seconds you can show it here as well you can go into screen saver mode whatever that means uh, you can show a box and you can uh, use the C option which I showed you right now and you can have different colors as well by default it's using I think the green color and here you can set the date format if you want to have a different format you have the option to set this here and you can also enable a blinking column if you'd like to do this what is the screen saver mode I'm interested um, don't see much of a difference right now ah screen saver mode ah I get it so as long as you don't touch the column it will show you the time as when you touch the column you'll type anything in it will go out of this mode so this is meant with screen sa screen saver mode so let's go back to the C so we have this now here and I can uh, resize it to the way I like it and uh, on this pane I want to open up Calcus so I just type in Calcus and uh, Calcus is already running on a different session anyway just think that I opened up Calcus here and here I can just simply um, split this pane as well uh, I want to split this um, 
this way and want to run htop on top and want to run my main code here. So I've done this already and I can show you this by switching to the next session that I have open control B and uh, bracket open. Uh, and now you can see this is my session that I have usually where I have my calculus uh, calendar here and you can see I have a uh, very uh, know what which date it is currently uh, and um, I have options here to 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 as you can see here save th uh, the whole thing with, uh, with control s I reload the whole thing I can add to do to do if I want to I can uh, go down by pressing the J key and you can see I'm using the calendar to go through the various dates here and can see I can press the uh, I think it is the enter key to show my appointments eventually but you can see I don't have any <laughs> appointments right now uh, cleared everything up here and uh, I can of course do some other commands here as well you can see I can go with V one week uh, in advance and so on uh, I can add some stuff if I want to add an appointment for tomorrow for example I can start uh, type in uh, the hours uh, two options here um, let's say at 12 o'clock and the end time or uh, duration and we want to have uh, the end time at this and now I can have a description like meeting and now you can see I have an appointment here called meeting at 12 tomorrow and you can see when I uh, go uh, up and down here it is also marked as green so that means there's something going on and red is always the one that I have uh, currently as so a current date and yeah I have also the uh, option to um, go and uh, go into to do's for example just hitting the tab key to switch between appointments where I can go up and down with uh, JKL key so the typical VI uh, and I can also go into do and uh, yeah I can add a new to do what was it add yeah new to do item record uh, screencast or selfish s podcast and uh, priority I can set a priority here as well of course this is the highest priority for uh, this day and uh, yeah uh, yeah this is the way I can uh, work with this calendar I like to work with this because it is uh, pretty nice and graphically it is a text-based application but still graphically very powerful and uh, yeah I can do a lot of things there but as I told you I can do my own video about only this Calcus uh, calendar application so let's go back and see we have htop here running we have uh, our um, terminal here running here I can just work I can use git and some other things to to work on clone code and uh, edit code and upload code and so on or <laughs> what I like to do is uh, SSH into another machine uh, where I can run my chat applications or something like this uh, because I didn't find uh, on open repos a good alternative for WeChat I think there's a version of ERC available let me go to here and search for Ursi. But there is no, no, not even this, no WeChat available. So if someone has the possibility to port WeChat for Selfishers, this would be like, uh, be very, very handy. So you can also use your IRC chats and other chats. Uh, I think it also has WeChat, has Telegram support and so on. So it would be very nice to have this as well. Um, what you can see here on the bottom, our main bar, we have our main um, tab here. And the way that you can do this, let's go yeah, let's go to the Tmux shortcuts to see that there are options to make it a bit bigger, options to rename. Uh, we can swap panes if you want to, we can display a clock if you want to by control B and T. You can see it will display a clock here. Uh, the same screensaver mode basically that it uses here and we have some other options here as well but one uh, nice option is uh, to rename the uh, pane create a new window rename the current window there we have it and this is like control b and then the comma key 
So control B and comma, and now you can see rename window and I can rename it to whatever I like to rename it to. And this window is not only this or this or this or this, it's the whole window here with all these configurations. And uh, you can see I have a second one called CMOS here. So I can hit control B N and now I go <laughs> into my CMOS uh, music player here. And I, CMOS music player has one, two, three, four, five, six, eight uh, different keys from one to seven, I think. Huh? Yeah, seven. And if you have hit seven, it will show you a list of uh, shortcuts that you can use to do certain things here. And uh, let me go to what was it, five and let me play some music here. Do I have some CC music here? No, but you probably don't hear it in the background anyway. So let's play, for example, this here. Oh, I was like still you, uh, playing cadmium melody, as you can see here. Let me stop this and now I can uh, play something else like this one here. So the controls here are like uh, X for play, C for pause and V for stop. And I think B and Y, you can go forward and backward the uh, arrow keys to go here and it will play through the speaker of your phone. What I like to do if I work is like attach my headphones to my uh, Xperia 10 plus device so I can then listen to my uh, favorite music and also I can go to 4 and have a playing queue here so I can add certain uh, songs to the playing queue. Uh, this one for example, uh, this one and now let's go uh, here, ah, playlist. I didn't add it to the playing queue, I added it to the playlist and you can see I have like various uh, uh, songs now added to my playlist. So I have also playlist support and also have a queue support. I can use also commands like in VM, uh, VI like add to queue or something like this. Add and uh, yeah, those are the options that I can use here. There's also uh, a possibility for, for, for CMAS to do a whole CMAS tutorial by itself, but I think I showed you enough, uh, gave you, I think, inspiration on trying it on your own. Uh, have your own setup with Tmux. You have the option, also, of course, if you are going away to another computer and so on, to detach your session just by pressing Control B and then D for detaching. As you can see, it closed the detached the session, and now I can just plug out my phone and go to another machine or something like this. And if I want to attach to the session again, so all the applications are still running in the background, I can just type in Tmux attach, as you can see here. What I typed in before and it will then just go into my session and everything is like I left it before. So this is also I think a pretty interesting thing, especially if you have your setup, your CLI setup, the way you like it, your TMARC setup your, the way you like it, you can always attach to it. As long as the phone is running, uh, the session will be opened and everything is configured the way you like it. So I think this is a pretty good and handy feature of TMARC itself. So you can have your own little desktop running here, your own CLI desktop running on Selfish OS. Um, if you find this interesting, you can uh, ask questions if you have some questions still. If you have your own setup, post your own setup, screenshots, um, whatever you've done. Uh, if you have some ideas what you can do with your Selfish OS device, maybe older devices that are running Selfish OS and have uh, Linux uh, CLI support and SSH and so on. Uh, what you can do and uh, other things you can post in the comments section. This is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get new video uh, suggestions or every time I post a new video you get some. And of course I have a Patreon as well. Uh, find a link in the description and you can support my videos on YouTube on Patreon as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye!